A unified ledger assumes that all the counterparties that you would ever want to deal with will adopt a single technology. That's kind of like saying that all the counterparties that you will ever want to deal with will use a single database technology or a single programming language or a single networking infrastructure or something. These uh, blockchains that exist will only continue to be more varied and fragmented and eventually they'll actually be vertically focused where different blockchain technologies do different things better based on their specialization, similarly to how there's different types of databases that do different things better. So the fragmentation, the blockchain industry is only going to continue, and we're now rapidly, not even moving towards, but we've already arrived at a world where every bank's, every asset manager's plan is to simply generate their own blockchain, similarly to how they have their own database. Now, the real question is, if everyone generates their own blockchain, their own system where they house the value of their clients, their own stable coins, they issue new on-chain financial products, how will all of those chains and systems interact with each other so that the stable coin from one bank or the tokenized deposit or the central bank digital currency from one place can interact with the central bank digital currency and real world asset of another place? How does that happen? That's uh, really the question. So the question is not, how do you get everyone on a single technology? That doesn't usually happen. The question is, how do you get everyone using different technologies, interacting with each other in an efficient, secure way, which is how the internet works? So what you're really trying to do is replicate the internet into a kind of internet of contracts, internet of value model, where any amount of counterparties can use any amount of chain technologies but they can still interact with each other. They can still do transactions with each other.